Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 2nd of 2023 well, it is titled NGC 7023, the Iris Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a nebula out in space that may bear a resemblance to a flower here on Earth. And that is not an unusual comparison that we see for some of the patterns that can develop within these nebulae. Now, often we see nebulae that are red and those are emission nebulae, giving off the glow from hydrogen gas that is excited by hot stars. We'll notice right away that this one is not red, but distinctly blue. And that's because this is a different type of nebula. This is what is called a reflection nebula. And it will appear blue because it is composed of dust grains that are scattering light. So an emission nebula is composed of hydrogen gas, which absorbs the light and the energy from the star and then re emits it at very specific wavelengths. Here we're looking at small interstellar dust grains that scatter the light. And they are very good at scattering blue light and not very good at scattering red light. So the red light tends to pass straight through and the blue light gets scattered and comes from all over the nebula. It's a similar reason, although a different process to what happens in our own atmosphere. Light from the sun is scattered is scattered by atmospheric particles and the blue light is preferentially scattered. So that makes a sunset appear red, whereas the sky appears blue. Now here we do see that blue co blue color again associated with those dust grains and the hot stars that have formed at the center. Now you will note a little bit of red here as well and that is actually caused by photoluminescence. In some cases those dust grains are converting the infrared light into visible light and in this case in the red. So that's a little bit different in that case the, they are essentially taking care of absorbing the light and then having it re emitted at different wavelengths. And that's very different than the scattering that we get that gives us that distinct blue color. Now this is an example of part of a star forming region and what happens in some of the very later stages after the stars have already formed the remnants of material left around it still contain some of those dust grains and particles from which the star formed earlier and those will scatter that light until eventually the energy from the stars and stars that have formed will push away that material and cause it to expand out into space eventually dissipating the nebula that we see today. So that was our picture of the day for September 2nd of 2023. It was titled NGC 7023 the Iris Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a cosmic souffle. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.